Hey, welcome everybody. Just delighted to see you here again. I'm sorry it's been a few days break uh, between uh, daily trade tips, but uh, we're back with a vengeance today. We are a little cautious about the market as it is at the moment. We've had the S&P really testing a key level to the downside along with oil testing $40 and we are seeing copper looking weak also. We've got non-farm payrolls tomorrow. So really we're are looking at things with a cautious eye uh, but apple is still very much on our radar and so i thought we'd look at uh, the three charts the three time frames we normally look at to see if apple is worth another bite if you'll excuse the pun um so look three days ago we had that pivot high that we can see on the daily chart of around about 106 um subsequent to the uh, sub subsequent to the gap up post earnings um since the move up we've sort of consolidated in between 104 and 106 um last session finished towards the high of the session so we'll we'll see a green volume bar here uh, in light of that particular market action of course we've still got them on the two day and the weekly charts with the weekly chart now moving into uptrend based on this week's action. Uh, so, but for the overall market conditions, we may well be interested in a trade if it breaks this pivot high, as I said, around about that, uh, just over 106 level uh, that we touched uh, three trading sessions ago. So, there are two ways we could potentially play this that we're seeing. Uh, first of all, we could look to a potential credit spread, a bull put spread. We'll be tempted to put it somewhere down here below 103, maybe a 103, 101, and to get ourselves a reasonable premium with an expiry next week. That's alternative one. We could, of course, go a bought call, but we are reluctant in this market, as, as we've explained, uh, re where things are right now. So the other way to play this is potentially a butterfly trade. Now, if if we do get a break in here, then we could quite easily see uh, see Apple up to around about 110 relatively quickly, and even go on to test uh, what we saw in uh, in f what would that be? That will be April uh, back up towards 112. So the idea of a 105, 110, 115 butterfly is actually quite attractive in in terms of a way of playing this. So that's what we'd be looking at today is, is looking to place a trade you know, with two to three weeks to expiry and uh, on a break of this pivot high with the idea that it will trade within this range. It's quite a wide range over the next two or three weeks. Consider this, do the maths on it, have a look at uh, what the spreads are when markets open and obviously make a decision from there and that's just one of the trades i'm considering for today so before we go if you'd like to see everything i'm considering and see the trades i'm really taking why not take a trial to my options elite alert and trading service that way you can see exactly how i find the best trades that can produce the largest returns whilst keeping the risk low just click on the link below and get started today you'll be glad you did See you soon.